Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you a really easy trick that anyone can perform anytime, anywhere with a deck of cards. This is what the performance looks like. Let's say um, you show the spectator that it's a really normal deck of cards. Nothing, um, there's no duplicates or any gimmick cards or anything like that. So you place the cards on the table or any surface and then you tell them to cut anywhere they would like. And then let's say they cut right there. And then basically you tell them to look at the very third card from this pile, which is the four of spades. And you tell them that this tells me that the third card from this pile is going to be the three of diamonds. Okay, so that's the performance. All right, I thought that trick was pretty obvious and any, almost any magician who has some background can figure this out quite quickly. But for those, for those of you who are not sure how I did it, here we go. So basically you start off by saying that you have a really ordinary deck of cards. So, and then while you're saying that, you're going to look at the third card from the bottom, right? Which is, in this case, the four of spades. That means if you turn three cards, this is going to be the four of spades, right? So using that idea, you're going to tell the spectator to cut anywhere from the top, okay? But you want them to tell, you, you should probably tell them to cut around half from the top because if they cut like this, then you can't really do the trick, right? So you want them to cut around half like that, around that much. And then from there, what you do is you're, you're gonna say, okay, I'm going to look at the third card from this pile. In this case, it is the two of diamonds. And from that, I can already tell that the third card from this pile is the four of spades, right? Remember how you memorize the third card from the top? You, like it's going to be the card that you memorized, okay? So that's pretty much the trick. It's a really short trick. I use this as an opener, and if you don't have a surface or what um, a surface that you can put your cards on, you can use the spectator's hand. Hands. You can tell them to um, flatten out like this and make a table, and you can tell them how it's a table so you can't move them. So it's a really quick trick that can be used as an opener, right? And um, <clears throat> you can also make it to four cards or five cards if you want to make it, I don't know, have some variation. So you can memorize, let's say, the three of hearts, which is one, two, three, four, five, fifth, from, fifth card from the top. You can tell them to cut anywhere they want. And then you look at the fifth card in which this is the two of diamonds. And you, can, and you can already tell that the fifth card in this pile is going to be the three of hearts because you memorized the three of hearts, right? And if you want, if you want to make it more impressive, what you can do is you can memorize the two, two cards here. So the king of diamonds and the six of hearts. And then basically you can say the third card, the seven of diamonds, right? And, I mean seven of spades and you can say the third card is going to be the king of diamonds and then you can say I can go on and then look at the six of clubs and you can already say it's the uh, six of hearts right so there are some variations you can do and you can play around with it a bit if you want and this is a really cool trick for any beginners to learn and that's the tutorial guys I hope you liked it I'll see you next time